Watch this. I'm trying to get an AI agent to run some tests on my local setup. It needs to spin up a database, install dependencies, run the test suite. And it crashes again. This isn't a problem with the AI. The AI knows what to do. The problem is my laptop was never designed to handle this. So I've been playing around with the AI coding tools a lot lately. Copilot, Cursor, some of these newer autonomous agents like Cloud Code. These tools are amazing at generating code. But when you actually try to use them in real team environment or try to run multiple agents at once, things start breaking down. And it's not the AI that's the problem. It's that our entire development setup was never built for this. We are still doing development the same way we did 10 years ago. Everyone on their laptop managing their own environment and their own dependencies. That worked fine when it was just humans. But now we are trying to throw AI agents into the mix. And the cracks are starting to show. Today, I want to show you what I mean by this and why it actually matters. Whether you are just starting out as a developer or thinking about how your team should work in the future. This video is sponsored by Coder, who make open source cloud development environments specifically designed for this new world, where humans and AI work together. You are working on a project. Maybe it's a microservices architecture, maybe it's a monorepo. Doesn't really matter. The point is, it's complex. You have got multiple services that need to talk to each other. A bunch of dependencies that need specific versions. Some data that needs to be in certain state for testing. And maybe a database or two running locally. Now, getting this all set up on your laptop, that's like a full day of work. Maybe longer if you run into that one weird issue that nobody's documented yet. But here is where it gets interesting. Let's say you want to bring an AI agent to help you. Maybe you want it to write test or refactor some code or even just help you debug an issue. The agent needs access to your code base, right? It needs to understand your project structure, your dependencies, maybe even run some code to see what happens. But where does it run? On your laptop, competing for resources with your IDE, your browser, and whatever else you have open? And what about security? You are literally giving an autonomous agent access to your local file system, your Git credentials, maybe even your AWS keys if they are in your environment variables. That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. What if multiple agents working on different parts of the problem simultaneously? Suddenly you are coordinating not just as human developers, but also these autonomous processes that need their own isolated environments, their own compute resources, and their own security boundaries. This is the infrastructure gap I'm talking about. The tools we use for development, they were designed for a world where one human works on one project at a time. And that world is rapidly becoming obsolete. So what's the answer? Instead of trying to cram everything onto your laptop, you move your entire development workspace on the cloud. And I don't mean just running your code in the cloud. I mean your entire workspace, your IDE, your terminal, your tools, your dependencies, everything. Here is how it actually works. And I'll use Coder as an example since they are sponsoring this video. And they are also one of the most interesting implementation of this concept I've seen. So you define your development environment as code using actual Terraform, the same tool you probably already use. In that definition, you specify what compute resources you need, CPU, RAM, maybe GPUs what tools and dependencies to install, how to connect to your Git repositories, and what IDE developers can use. Then, when a developer or an AI agent needs to work on something, they don't spend a day setting things up. They just click a button, and in minutes, they have a fully configured environment ready to go. All the dependencies are installed, all the services are running, and everything is exactly how it should be. But here is where it gets really powerful for AI agents. Each agent can get its own isolated workspace, not just a separate process on your laptop, an actual isolated environment with its own compute resources, its own network boundaries, and its own security policies. Say you are building a web application and you want to use AI agents to help with three different tasks. In a traditional local setup, you'd be trying to coordinate all of this on your laptop. But with a platform like Coder, each agent gets its own workspace with exactly the resources it needs. The testing agent can run all the tests without slowing down your machine. The security agent can scan the code base without access to production credentials. The database agent can spin up test databases, run queries, and shut them down without affecting anyone else. 
and you can keep working on your own workspace while all of this happens in parallel. This is available today and it's open source. Coders Community Edition is completely free and you can self-host it on any infrastructure you want. Let me show you what this actually looks like in practice. To create a workspace, I click New Workspace. I'll name this one as Main Dev. This will be my main development workspace. Click Create and in about a minute, the workspace is ready. Now let me create one more for AI Agent. Same process. New workspace, pick the template and name it AI Agent Test. And now here is what I have. Three workspaces running in parallel. My main dev workspace where I am writing code and two AI agent workspaces. One for running tests, another for security scanning. Each workspace is completely isolated with its own compute resources. Now let me show you inside one of these AI agent workspaces. I've got a full development environment. VS Code is ready, everything is configured. The AI agent has what it needs to analyze the code, run tests and make changes. And here's the terminal. The agent can run commands, install dependencies, execute tests, all in this isolated environment. If something goes wrong, it's contained. It can't touch my main workspace or production. And this is what I mean by shared human plus AI workspace. Three workspaces running in parallel, working on the same code base, but completely isolated from each other. Each one was spun up from a template in about a minute. When I'm done, I shut them down. Only pay for what I use. So for junior developers, Remember spending your first week at a new job just setting up your environment, installing things, troubleshooting weird errors, and waiting for access to systems. With this approach, you get access to Cloud Workspace, click Create Workspace from the team template, and you are making your first commit. When something breaks, delete the workspace, spin up a fresh one. And for teams using AI agents, this is where it gets really interesting. Imagine your workflow looks like this. You write the high-level architecture and features. AI agents handle the grunt work, test, documentation, simple bug fixes, and everything happens in parallel, in isolated workspaces. You review the output, approve it, merge it. All of it auditable and controlled. The human stays in control of the important decisions, but the tedious work, the AI handles it safely in its own isolated environment. Now the cost side, here is something concrete. So say you have 10 developers who need a beefy machine like 16 cores, 32 GB RAM for compiling, that's 10 powerful laptops at $2,500 each, $25,000 upfront. With cloud workspaces, you give everyone lightweight laptops and provision resources only when needed. Most development isn't compiling, it's thinking, reading docs, reviewing code. So instead of 10 machines running 24 seven, you have three to four running during work hours. So if you need GPUs or ML work, update the template. Need to give an AI agent 64 GB of RAM? Easy. And when you are done, it shuts down. You only pay for what you use. Getting started is straightforward. You can run it locally with Docker to experiment or deploy it to your cloud if you want to share with your team. You don't need to be a Terraform expert. They have a starter template for all major cloud providers. In the old model, everyone is on their laptop with their own setup. It worked when it was just humans. But in a world where AI agents are productive team members, you need infrastructure that supports that. You need isolation, control, and auditability. That's what this enables. They are not replacing your IDE or your workflow. They are just moving it to infrastructure that's designed for multi-agent future we are heading into. Thanks for watching. And if you learned something new today, let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.